Hello, it's That Sounding Gamer. I'm doing another X things of mine. I'm not sure exactly how you'd count this. It's really, I don't know, four categories. Some have more than one object. Um, so you might recognize this carpet. It's the same one that I used for the last video, um, which I'll put in the description. Someone wanted me to do this. Might have been a troll, might have been serious, I don't know. The name was obviously joking, but uh, I have no idea. But hey, there's no reason not to do this, really. Um, at worst, I might make a few bucks from uh, advertising revenue, maybe, if I'm lucky. Uh, so, without further ado, I'm going to get on with this. This is um, a lighter I got a little while ago. Uh, from Amazon.ca, it's I think it's uh, the Thunderbird or something's the brand. It's customized. It's keep calm and flutter on with Fluttershy there. Yes, um, for the few of you who actually still watch my videos, yes, I am one of those brony types. Yeah, think of that what you will. Um, I think I I think I use kind of um, cheap butane, so the flames are a little bit unreliable. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I don't really like Zippos much because they use uh, the wick. I didn't really want to get one of those. So I ended up getting one of these instead. Well, it's just, it's just, you know, for kicks. Okay, next up is uh, uh, black light. Uh, I've always liked black lights. And this is a uh, uranium glass, by the way. At least I'm pretty sure it is. It reacts with black light, which is like 99.9% .9 diagnostic, along with the general color, which is kind of um, kind of milky green translucency. It's pretty indicative of uranium glass, and like I said, UV light would be diagnostic. But anyway, I've always I've always liked black lights. Uh, I'll actually turn I'll actually turn off the light just so you can see it a little bit better. It was, it's a really cheap black light. Um, oh, I need to turn this one off, too. Yes, it is. Spending a lot of time just turning off the lights, aren't I? It's a little bright out. It's early morning, so... Uh, okay, back, light back on. Here we go. Uh, um, uh, interesting, you might, you might want to know that uh, blood shows up black. It absorbs UV. Um, P actually does show up as a glow. It's not just cat piss. These things are these cheap things are often um, advertised for detecting cat piss. But no, it's it's not it's any piss as far as I know. Um, I'm not I'm not sure if it would uh, show up bird uh, area or not. It's the white stuff, by the way, that birds excrete. Yeah, that's that's their form of piss. It's thick, um, a liquid, uh, rather than you know a full on. Like when, you know. uh, uh, okay, and on to the next thing. Yes, it's a flutter shot. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's it's a little bit uh, excessive. I just have it in the corner of my room, pretty much. Just that. And I got another smaller one. Although, um... My mom actually takes that. Uh, she poached it for me. Uh, and you might be wondering, what's with this glass with this baggie in it and this container behind it? Well, I'll show that to you now. Hopefully the bag won't leak. The last bag I tried did leak. Um, it is... Oosh, uh, wait, let me get um, a tissue to dry that a little bit. Ooh, yes, it's a liquid metal. 
But, sir, that mercury must be toxic. But, no, it's actually gallium. Well, some of you probably did know that it was actually gallium. Um, gallium is like mercury, sort of, in the sense that it's liquid at a round room temperature, but um, unlike mercury, gallium is a solid when it gets, um, I think it's around 20 degrees centigrade, it, it turns solid. So at around room temperature, it's liquid, but in, in your hands or in warm water, it'll turn into a liquid. Whoosh. So it looks exactly like mercury to me. Um, there might be some subtle distinction. Like here, you can see it's actually solidifying onto the side of the plastic. Um, but all I'd have to do is put it back in the water, and it would um, uh, turn liquid again, those parts that are turned solid. And this is a container that has the rest of it. it, it in total, it's around 100 grams. Um, I got it just because, you know, I, I like collecting some minerals. I've got a sample of diamond, and I actually do have a sample of mercury somewhere. It's a very small sample. It's only like a milliliter or two. Uh, I've got titanium. Uh, the the aforementioned diamond is just a cheap, I think it's it's the type of diamond. It's brown, ugly. It'd be used in industrial purposes. I've got uh, molybdenum. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It's really irritating. But anyway, um, I'll put a link to the wiki page for gallium if you're interested in the description. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's uh, enough time wasted on my random crap. Wait. Right. Yeah, stand up. There we go. Um... Hope you enjoyed this video. You know who you are, a random person, whichever. Bye-bye. Um,